Putri Minang Sari is a Balinese dancer and also uh, really creative for uh, in the making a poetry and then also some other creativity. So and this evening uh, she will read. I think so, uh, I'm wondering what is the title of the poem that uh, she will read. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, first of all, Happy World Heritage Day. To all of us um, tonight, I want to share. <laughs> tonight, I want to share a poem that I wrote in 2016 for a celebration of local textiles. This is about my mother, who is half Javanese and half Balinese, and she absolutely loves batik. As a as a background music, I'll try to play Pak Dwi Cahyono's song "Back to Zero. Uh, so my poem's original version is actually in Bahasa Indonesia, titled Kain and Kenangan, but I have translated it for this event to English, and this is titled Batik and Memories. Mother told me that when I was still a baby, father was about to receive a promotion in his career as a state officer. So mother took out a piece of hand-drawn batik from her collection, one of banji pattern, an ancient motif inspired by the Hindu swastika that represents determination and loyalty of character. At the ceremony, she stood next to father with her shy smile, wearing a white kabaya and that batik. The photograph of it she still keeps. When I finished school and was graduated, mother happily attended. She showed up in matching kain batik and stole. Of simple udan liris pattern, a symbol of perseverance in the journey through life. Her wise, wise heart knew that my journey as a human being was just beginning and that it would not be easy and that it would be filled with bitter reality. At my engagement party, mother arrived wrapped in batik of pamiluto pattern a lovely old motif of small triangles joined together as if glued, symbolizing the strengthening of love. She was all smiles, although there was a tiny frown on her face, a slight worry of whether I was truly ready for marriage. But her being there for me gave me courage. At the Turuntana ceremony of my firstborn, Mother was the most joyous grandma. She carried my daughter around, tied the baby to her body with a soft pusisiran batik of various colors. Mother insisted to me that a newborn's vision must be exposed to hues that are cheerful and bright only. A few weeks ago, when I went to visit mother, I found her on the corner of her bedroom, carefully stitching her favorite truntum batik, a batik of endless, unconditional love, given to her many, many years ago by my late father. There's a little tear there, she said. Her eyes shone sadly, but beautifully. Every year in July, when the widows of the state officers are invited to the state ceremony, mother wears that batik to remember her beloved. She would still pose for a photo with her shy smile, although no longer beside my father. Oh mother, I know in every batik that you choose, there is a prayer, there is a hope, there is a reverie, there is a memory. Thank you.